another video and I'm by myself today. I'm just, I had a lot on my mind lately so today I'm about to tell y'all a story and vent and paint. Now I don't know, I look keep on the paint like for decor purposes so I don't know what I'm about to do. I think I just do like some abstract. Alright so I'm gonna tell y'all about my last relationship. I'm trying to tie a wee bit. I'm gonna lie. So many things happen. First let me tell y'all how like I met a girl at Dick's. This is when I used to work at Dick's. I used to work at Dick's for the goods. But I want you when I was like in 10th grade. A lot of y'all don't know. I do do content with girls. Y'all just don't watch it. A lot of y'all be like, oh my god, it's fave gay. Gay, 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 That's all I'm gonna say. Let me tell y'all what happened. I'm at work minding my business. And I see this girl. She was so fond of me. I don't know why. Head just big as Forehead fast. Ain't nothing fine about that thing. I was like, oh my god, yeah, what's that? Like, and she was dicks for a job interview. Not at my store, but another store that was opening across the street from like the mall. I don't know if you live in my area, the like Hair Pressure Mall. It was a dick's opening across the street from the mall. Is this F30? Don't lie to me. I would do like faith in like all this font and then do things I like around. And she was there for an interview. I got on Milwaukee. I was like, uh, let's give her a name. Let's call her Cherry. So I was like, Cherry here for an interview. I called them. Alone. They're like, okay, we go come get her. They come get her. She doing the interview. Mind you, she's back there for a long time. I'm confused. I'm like, interviews never take this long. I'm telling you, she was back there for like 40 minutes to an hour. I was dead. I was really confused. But I'm thinking back and I think it was because like she got hired. She was probably filling out paperwork. Younger me wasn't thinking that far ahead. It's not like another exit or something. Dicks at KLP is three different entrances. It's the mall entrance, Dicks Sporting Goods the main entrance. This is ugly. I'm gonna make that a fish or or some candy or something. See, art your art is never ugly. Like I don't know if she went out through another exit or something. But in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I don't think I'm seeing her again. But like I see her, she coming out, she looking at me. It's kind of crooked. So I see her, I'm like, oh, she look good, and then she coming up to me. I'm already know why she coming up to me because you already came to me for the interview. Now you coming over here for personal reasons. She come over here, she like, uh, she was like, you like girls, you cute, can I get your number? You know how that whole thing go, and I'm sitting there like, yeah, like, cheesy. <laughs> Little did I know that that girl's about to give me years worth of trauma. And it's sick. Like, I told myself I wasn't going to mess with nobody until 2027, but I'm not going to lie. I started liking somebody, and I really don't know how to feel about it. I'm, I'm not even going to hold you. I really don't know how to feel about it. That was so random and unexpected. But at the same time, I'm not trying to lock my blessings. She gave my number. We started texting on and off. And we started communicating in, like, June. And we didn't get together till like October. September, October. It was a couple months. I'm thinking she's so cool. Her text messages was so lame. I don't know why I liked her so much. I did just something about it. And I really feel like we really are attracted to our lessons and our blessings. And she was obviously a, a lesson, almost had a blessing. I've been, I'm really liking her. I'm liking what's going on and stuff. Like, I'm liking her chemistry. Sometimes she will go like hours without texting me. Sometimes I would get blocked. At the time, I didn't realize I was blocked. I was still naive, young. She taught me, that's why I say everything happened for a reason. She told me not to be naive. She told me not to be dumb. She told me not to be a pushover, all that. Like, she told me that. Like, she told me all that in the book. Not everything. It's still probably some tricks. I don't know. She told me not to believe anything. She told me that people are really, like, out here crazy and weird as hell. I'm mixing the pink, y'all. I think I'm about to make pink. I would get blocked from time to time and everything. She was telling me like when her message wasn't sent, her phone, her phone messing up. I believe that y'all. I'm not trying to spread trauma onto y'all. If somebody phone keep messing up, they probably blocking you. Be honest. But I believe there because I never been through nothing like that before. Like I was like on oh, her phone. She had a new phone. Like I was generally concerned about the girl's phone. She was still messing around with her ex at the time. So that's why it took us like a couple months to really lock her for real. But at the same time, I was still like had my eyes on this other female. Child, I ended up with her later after my ex and got my heart. Rumbled. That's a different story. And I don't think I'm ready to tell that yet. I might cry. So I'm really wanting her like, I'm thinking she's so fine. And let me skip forward to the part where like, we really lock in for real. We really start locking in and like the end of September. I was thinking everything butterflies, peaches, and rainbows. I wish I still had her messages. I'm so traumatized that I believe that I ain't want them in my phone. She was texting me. She was like, I want you forever. Mind you, I'm not hearing nobody say this before. The only person at the time that ever said some shit like this to me before was Jordan. And that was in middle school. So like, do that really even count? She's saying this. I'm full of love. Like, I'm 
I'm getting butterflies all day. I'm really feeling special here. Like, I'm really feeling like I'm in love. I feel like I met my wife all day. Honeymoon times 100. I'm trying to convince my mom that there's nothing wrong with us dating. At the time, I think our age was like 17 and 23. Yeah, I tried. My mom should have backhanded me and the girl. I'm telling you, that shit ain't right. Y'all need to spend y'all age breaking. My mom wasn't going for that. I'm about to add this on my canvas, y'all. It says I'm that girl. I'm being easily manipulated because I'm young. We started getting together. I'm going to take us when we started being official. We started being official, I think, October 6th. I was so happy she asked me to be her girlfriend. <sighs> so happy. I thought I was getting married tomorrow. Fast forward, do y'all know she actually proposed to me? The ring is at my mom's house, but like it fell behind the radiator, so I can't even show y'all the ring. But I still do have the promise which she gave me. I be wearing it sometimes, but I just feel like I shouldn't be wearing it. Especially like right now, because like I said, I told you I was talking to somebody. It just feel disrespectful. We started dating. I think this was like our first day dating. This should have been a red flag for me. She wanted me to come all the way to West Philly. Mind you, at this time, I knew nothing about West Philly. She the only reason why I started taking the train. I don't think I got on the train before I started talking to her. I didn't. Like, I never took the train before I started talking to her. She knew the reason why I don't know how to take the train. Oh, I didn't know nothing about West Philly. I didn't know how to go down to West Philly. She wanted me to come down and meet her just to hang out in West Philly. Not saying there's nothing wrong. I'm not the type of person that just like to meet up at random places and hang out. That's not fun to me. I feel uneasy. We hang out like in a civilized place. I don't know. But I was still going to do it because I like that so damn bad. But my mom was not going for that. She was like, no. Because what? She know her daughter. Her daughter don't do no shit like that. She was like, uh-uh. As mom should. I asked my mom even like, yeah, can you drive me? She like, no, she's mad as hell. She's like, no, I'm even, she's mad I'm even asking her that, but the answer was no, as it should have been. Cherry at the time was pissed that my mom said no. What did you want me to do, fight my mom? So about something, if you really wanted to, you would have found the way. What? That's what I knew she was wrong with her. She used to manipulate me crazy, like. Y'all just look look like a stripper twerking. Do y'all see it? Let me stop. But she got mad that I couldn't come to West Philly to see her. Like she, I lived in North at the time, like the Kingsington Park. Very different sides of Philly. She wanted me to come all the way at the end of West Philly. I didn't even know where I was going. She's like, you will find a way to do that. She was pissed. So I ended up seeing her like the next day or whatever. She had came over my house. And I think she was meeting my mom this time. She was cool at first. Like she was cool. She was calm. She was nice. She was like, you know how it always is. I thought she was really the sweet, nice girl. Mm -hmm. Boy was wrong. My mom didn't even like her over it. I think number one was because the age thing, because like you gotta be a weirdo, you too old to be liking my daughter, which my mom understand. But she didn't like her vibe either. She was definitely like being mad fake. I remember we was all in the kitchen, it was super awkward. I felt super uncomfortable. But that's the first time she was at my house and she met my mom. I said like a good month ahead. So when I start seeing the true her, I start realizing that I'm not allowed to have friends. She was like, oh my god, don't make it seem like that. Every time I was tell her like how I felt. She would seem like I'm trying to make her to be a monster. Girl, I'm just telling you what it is. If you feel like you're a monster, then baby, you should work on yourself. I wasn't allowed to have no friends. Every time I had a friend, they liked me or not either like them. I could never tell a friend. Even people I've been friends with. Oh my God, and don't let it be a stud. I'm a whore if, if I make friends with a stud. Oh my God, and if it was a boy, I'm disgusting. So I start seeing like her true colors, but y'all, I'm still so deep in love. I'm not really thinking about it too hard at all. No socialization. Yeah, I'm still with her. I'm thinking this is normal because this is my first like real relationship. I don't even know if I should say that because I feel like no relationship should be like that. That was God awful. And I don't wish that on my freaking worst enemy. I stopped talking to all my friends when I started dating her because she was controlling me that bad. I couldn't talk to my friends. I had to watch how I talked to them. I couldn't talk to them in a flirty way. I mean, I kind of understand this part. I talk to my friends in a flirty way just because I'm very playful. For insecure people, that just won't fly. I feel it. I understand a little bit. I stopped being friends with a girl I was friends with since freaking second grade because of her. People start distancing themselves from me when she was in the picture. Let me tell y'all one time. Y'all want to know what made me leave her? I had a busted lip. That's probably why you clicked on this video. I had a busted lip. And it, it triggers me. That triggered me. Every time I think about it, I get triggered. A lot of her hands on me multiple times. I used to have bruises all the time. I used to have marks on my body all the time. Look at my pile, I'm an artiste. So don't play with a girl. I used to have bruises everywhere all the time. People used to ask what happened. I used to be like, I don't know. I don't play that shit anymore. Like, if I ever get in a relationship, my partner is going to hit me on my soul. I'm going to town. I used to spare her because I loved her. I had love for her. Didn't want to hurt nobody. And like some in me couldn't just hit somebody that I'm in love with.
like that just wasn't gonna fly with me i forget why we were arguing i really couldn't tell you why but my mom was home that day like shawty stopped me in my shit while my mom was home and that freaking travis has the fuck out of me it's gonna be cute <laughs> i have no freaking clue but I forget what we was arguing about. It used to not have punched me in my lip either way it went. But like I'm saying, she he used to hit me all the time. And I used to be like, okay, da, da, da. just let it slide. But what gets me is my grill. You hit me in my face, you leave a mark on my face. I want I want to like, yo, I couldn't tell you why we was arguing. I really don't know why. But it was like one of those bad arguments. She went and took her dildo out of my dresser and everything. If you get it, you, you know how dramatic that shit be. I'm sorry to my young babies. Just close your ears. So we like downstairs. I lived in like a duplex. So it was a house split into two. The top apartment and the bottom apartment. I lived in the top apartment. But we was in a hallway. Like when you first come in, we could go with either of the apartments. We stayed in there. I'm trying to see what's up with her. I really don't know why she was mad. Sometimes she would get mad just to test me, see if I care. And that shit was mad at me. I can't do anybody to do that shit. We was arguing and then I seen her ball her fist up and make this mm face. And she, I straight her my lip. to do my feelings was more hurt than me my feelings was super hurt because ain't no way you sat there bought your fist up and punched me in my lip that should hurt my feelings bad i was upset because my face my lip was swollen what y'all think about this i feel like this should really be a cactus right here after she did that that's when i mentally broke up with her after that it was no coming back and then she was trying to tell me that i'm being dramatic you punched me in my lip and i should Tell her, tell me that I, that I was being dramatic. I truly believe that I was being dramatic. And I need to calm down. Right there, I just saw a sock in my fucking lip. I'm telling you, that's what toxic relationships can do to you. It is no joke. I feel like kids don't belong in relationships. Simple. Not on my watch. I'm not lie, y'all. I was believing that I was really sitting here thinking I'm dramatic. For real, I was really thinking I was dramatic. I forgive her, but in my head, I didn't forgive her. In my head, I knew that shit was worse. I knew I can't be with you. You just bought your fist up, made a face, and really just... Bust my shit. I can't be with you. Yeah, I'm a vloggy person. I should have been spotted social media. I just think third should be funny, and I just like telling people about it. Like, it's not even a type that like I like to put my business out. I just think it's funny, and I just feel like this is entertainment. Like, it don't bother me, so entertain. I tried to make this a cast sense, but it's not working. People like to take pictures. With, I meant videos without me knowing. They gonna send it to me later. Was that supposed to turn me on? It literally just made me uncomfortable. That's I could take her to court. Like, get that off your phone. Like, you're really a pedophile. I'll stay in y'all age bracket. Something crazy she did. Yeah, her dad, he's crazy too. Because ain't no way I'm about to have my fucking grown ass 20 something year old daughter bring her 17 year old girlfriend in my house. Where should. Bro, what? No. That shit not through. Y'all, I'm back in better spirits. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was sad last time I was talking to y'all. Like, um, I can't really tell y'all what's tea, like, child, that's a different story for a different day. But one of those stories I was telling you about my crazy ex, like, she used to manipulate me crazily, like, I'm telling you, like, it was wild. And, me, and she would, like, text them, like, nasty messages, like, this girl on TikTok said I was so beautiful or something. And then she going and text the girl and say, you look like Dookie. Why would you say that? And then I got blocked from messaging people on TikTok. I can't message people on TikTok. Then I was mad that I couldn't message people on TikTok anymore. Like, I was so T. Because wouldn't y'all be T if y'all can't text on the fucking social media that y'all on all the time all of a sudden? <clears throat> I was T. Then she manipulated me into thinking, oh, you care about social media too much. Duh. Now this shit is my job, ho. Anyways, she was like, you care about social media too much. Duh, 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 duh. Girl, girl, and I like and I let her make me think that I cared about social media too much, and I stopped giving a fuck. But now that we're not together, I'm so t. Thing is, I have so many other TikToks, but like that's my main TikTok. It don't have the most engagement or the most followers, but it got most of the people I know on there, and like most of y'all probably follow that TikTok. You know, it's just annoying, like. And. <clears throat> I don't. I couldn't tell you why we're fighting. 
any of the times we were fighting, I really cannot tell you why. It was over always some dumb shit. When I say fighting, I mean fighting. And I'm really not even fighting for real. Like I used to not really hit that girl back. I don't know why. I really just didn't want to hurt her. Like I really cared about her, but I didn't understand why she was hitting me. Like if you love somebody and care about somebody, how can you ball your fist up, close your fist up and punch him? All that weird shit. How? I don't understand. That shit's not normal to me. And I feel like when people grow up around certain shit, that should become normal to them. But that shit not normal to me. And that shit's bad. Like, I got to a point where I was really trying to break up with her just one night. I tried to break up with her so many times. But it didn't work. But it was one night I was trying to break up with her. And I went to her house. I told her to get out. And she wouldn't get out. So I called the cops. I literally called the cops. And I felt bad for calling the cops. I don't know why, but I didn't tell the cops nothing. I just hung up. I just said, never mind. I literally called the cops and said, never mind. The cops should have came anyway and tried to see what the problem was. Because I would have told on that girl. But yeah, she tried to stop my phone out, y'all. I swear to God, she tried to stop my phone out. <laughs> like, we was bustling for my phone and it had fallen on the floor. She was trying to stomp it out because she didn't want me to call the cops. Girl, get, just get out of my house. Like, you already a pedophile. You gonna go to jail anyway. Like, you're sick. But how y'all been going? This 20 I'm so sorry y'all for being inconsistent. Y'all wanna know y'all wanna know the truth. I've been uh I've been fucking with somebody, I've been liking somebody. And like they've been distracting me from what's important. I'm so sorry. Do y'all wanna meet him? I don't think he wanna be on camera, honestly. And I don't know if I wanna put him on camera because I kind of like this one. But I, I love y'all. I'm sorry for being inconsistent. This shit won't happen again. I told him to make me post six times a week. So, that's what we're doing. That's tea. But yeah, y'all. Don't worry, y'all. I'm about to get my hair done. But I'm still a baby. I can still take your mommy, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your poppy. But faith over me the fuck out. Alright, y'all. Did I show y'all my cat? Well... Come here, Simba. Simba don't want to be on camera. Never mind. But I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.